Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is Baiju Vasudevan. Here we are solving January 2022 Pure Math 1 paper. In part 1 and part 2 of the video, we have covered question number 1 to question number 7. So let's look at question number 8 now. This is from chapter 5, easy one more question. They want you to find the gradient of the line L1. Make Y as a subject. You will get 5Y is equal to 2X plus 7. So y is going to be 2 over 5x plus 7 over 5. So the gradient is the coefficient of x. That's all. It's just a one more question. Do you need to write the steps? Not necessary. You can do just mental math and divide the coefficient of x by minus. You can, you can write minus b over a. If you have in this form ax plus by plus c is 0. But if you don't want to make any mistake, write these steps. Part B now. A has coordinate 6, minus 2. L2 passes through A and is perpendicular to L1. If it's perpendicular, the slope of L1 is 2 over 5. So the slope of L2 will be negative reciprocal of it because it's perpendicular. And you have a point that the line passes through. So you can write the equation y minus y1 is equal to slope times x minus x1 they want the equation in this form so y is minus 5 over 2x plus when you multiply this two it becomes 15 bring the 2 here y is going to be minus 5 over 2x plus 30 that's all now the next part the lines l1 and l2 intersect at point m find the coordinates of him. We just need to solve the two equations. The first equation from here is y is equal to 2 over 5x plus 7 over 5. That's L1. L2 is y is equal to minus 5 over 2x plus 13. You can just equate them. 2 over 5x plus 7 over 5 is minus 5 over 2x plus 30. Put the 5 over 2x here. 2 over 5 plus 5 over 2 times x is 13 minus 7 over 5. So when you cross multiply you will get 4 plus 25 is 29 over 10x is equal to 13 minus 7 over 5 is 58 over 5. 2, 2, x is going to be 4. You can just simplify it. x is 4. So sub in x back into any one of the equation and find y. So when you sub in here, when x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 5 over 2 times 4 plus 13. You will get 3. So the coordinates of m is 4 comma 3. So 3 more questions. Part D now. The diagonal of a square a, b, c, d meet at m. Okay. Now we have a square now. A, b c d the diagonal of a square meet at m you know the point a point a is 6 comma minus 2 this is 6 comma minus 2 we know point m we just calculated 4 comma 3 4 comma 3 we need to find the point c i'm going to rotate this shape a little bit like this 4 plus 2 is 6. So to find the other point, because it's a midpoint, you need to put 4 minus 2. So it's going to be 4 minus 2, comma. 3 minus 5. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. So you need to put 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5, it's just like a vector translation. So you'll get 2, comma 8 is the point C. That's it. Because the M is the midpoint. The diagonals bisect each other. So it's a midpoint. 
Question number 9 now. We have a trigonometric graph given and the function representing the graph is y is equal to a cos x minus 30 degree. That means the cosine graph cos x, right? When you apply a cos x, the y coordinates will be multiplied by a and then apply translation x minus 30 the graph will be translated to the right side 30 units that's how we got this graph okay point p is the minimum point and has coordinate 30 comma minus 3 the point p is given the point p is given as 30 comma minus 3 write down the value of a the easiest way to find a is by sub in this point do not worry about any transformations or anything just sub in replace y by minus 3 x by 30 30 minus 30 cos 0 is 1 so a is equal to minus 3 that's all so the value of a is equal to minus 3 now let's move on to part b now the q is shown in figure and is a maximum point find the coordinates of q look at here it's a three mark question you see now we know the value of a i'm gonna put the value of a here minus three and we know p we need to find the point q if you take the cosine graph i'm gonna take the cosine graph this is the cosine graph right but if you look at it because of this minus three you need to flip the cosine graph right so it's going to be like this the orange graph is going to be minus 3 cos x and then you move the orange graph 30 units to the left that's how you got this graph right okay so in the orange graph the third maximum point is q not this not this not this this third point is q right after moving it to the right side 30 units but the third maximum point was the third minimum point before before applying the transformation right the point was here the q was here actually in the original graph so in the cos x this point would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 means 10 times 90 900 comma minus 3 right if you multiply sorry uh, 900 comma 1 in the original cosine graph correct now when you multiply the graph by just 3 not minus 3 just 3 the point becomes 900 comma 3 right 900 comma 3 now if you multiply by minus 3 it's a reflection the graphs are it was 900 comma minus 3 right when you multiply by minus the graph will be this and the q will be shifted here so it's gonna be 900 comma positive 3 right and then when you apply this transformation you are going to move it to the right side you need to add 30 here so it's going to be 930 comma 3 right but you need to show the working how do we show the working you can write x coordinate is 10 times 90 10 times 90 which is 900 plus 30 so you need to show this show this working so the point is 900 comma positive 3 the question wants you to find the coordinates right so that's all that's the answer question number 10 the curve c has equation y equals 1 over x square minus 9 they want us to sketch this graph okay let's say i'm gonna take x and y axis here origin here this is 1 over x square if you put a minus 9 that's a translation downwards 9 units so you need to move the asymptote first horizontal asymptotes to 9 units so you need to mention the equation of the asymptote and then move the graph downwards 
you will have this graph and then you need to find the x-intercept because the graph crosses at x-axis to replace uh, to find the x-intercept replace x y by 0 you get 1 over x square is equal to 9 x square is 1 over 9 x is plus or minus 1 over 3 so the point is going to be minus 1 over 3 comma 0 positive 1 over 3 comma 0 now the curve with equation y is equal to k x square where k is a constant given that c and d meets at four points okay we have curve c here i'm gonna sketch it one more time y x axis origin we have the intercept y is equal to minus 9 and we have the graph here this is the curve c now they are talking about another graph k x square it's a quadratic graph y is equal to k x square if k is positive the graph is gonna look like this if k is negative it will be this depending on the value of k so we don't know the value of k but the question says both the graph meet at four distinct points but look at the graph in order to have four point of intersection definitely the graph must be this so you know k is less than zero that's the first condition they want you to find the range of possible values of k now we equate the graphs to find the point of intersection 1 over x square minus 9 is k x square multiply through it by x square you'll get 1 minus 9 x square is equal to k x to the power 4 put everything on one side you'll get k x to the power 4 plus 9 x square minus 1 is 0 you need to change it to a quadratic take p as x square so p square is x power 4 so the, this equation becomes k p square plus 9 p minus 1 is 0 it says the curve intersect both the curve intersect at four distinct points that means there are four solutions for this equation or in other words two solutions for this so if in order for this to have two solutions the b square minus 4ac should be greater than 0 b square is 9 square 4ac should be greater than 0 so you will get k is greater than 4k is greater than 80 minus 81 k is greater than k is greater than minus 81 over 4 we already got the this one k is less than 0 combine it minus 81 less than 4 divided by 4 is less than k is less than 0 that's the solution